Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd look over all of the Edith and Finch free marketplace content that is permanently free on the marketplace. So all of these different packs are full of assets that are free, permanently free. You can use for your game, for your projects, whatever you want. I thought I might just go ahead and review all of the different content and assets within each of these packs. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so these packs were actually made free like a couple months ago. Whatever game or project they were being used for, the studio or whatever made them free on the marketplace. We're going to go ahead and start over from the left to the right. Uh, this is the Barbara collection. Got this little vault door. Uh, pretty much everything for a mini bunker, and I'll show you that map here in a second. Uh, you got your different uh, cans and jars. Get a separate mesh right there. Okay, some pots, some pans, stuff like that. Then you have the little shelving units. Bed. Some desks. Uh, the neat thing about some of these desks is the items are separate. So you can use, obviously, the desk for whatever you want. Okay, a little drawer. Uh, photo reel. Shelving units. Then over here we have an assortment, like a washer and dryer, water heater, sink, pool table, which is really nice. And these balls here are actually separate meshes. Okay, then we have a desk here, little record collection, old retro fridge, the door. Doesn't look like there's an interior, but the door does come off. Little saw bench, okay, punching bag, bicycle, skeleton, and yeah, that's pretty much all of that. I can show you the map. It's this bunker level. Uh, really not much to it other than all the assets arranged in this tiny little map. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the fact that uh, all of these assets are actually uh, pretty decent quality. Uh, but not obviously too high poly. So they're, I want to say, right between mobile and VR. Well, actually perfect for VR and probably good for mobile. So realistically, you could use this, honestly, for any sort of low poly game or for a VR game with n having like no issues at all. Okay, so this is the other map here. Let's go ahead and move on. We have... Eddie's collection, so we'll go to maps, go to the overview. And I'm not entirely sure what, what these assets are used for the original game. Maybe it was a VR game, I don't know. Um, so yeah, over here we have just a bunch of different little knickknacks here. So we got a little blueprint map, some blueprints, some paintings, little picture frames. Zoom in, different types of birds. Some of these handprints. Some painting canvases. Then we have some bird cages here. Perfume, little dollhouse, uh, old radiator. Okay, and then some drawers and furniture. It's always nice to have, uh, you know, different furniture meshes that you can repurpose for really any sort of game. Okay, then we have a really old fashioned chair, wheelchair. Kind of a hospital bed, wooden chair, old TV, sewing machine. And then over here we have a sink, toilet, mirror. Okay, and I can show you the demo map. So just a simple room here. Got a little bathroom with a carpet. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's go ahead and move on. Next up we have the Edith pack, so we can go ahead and open this up. Okay, so you're going to see there's a lot of stuff here, so let's go ahead and get right to it. We got the furniture, it's kind of a more modern type to it. Cupboards, a bed, a coffee table there, some drawers, and we have a little bit of paper mache. And then some cup picture frames, microwave, toy chest, 
little bed. And then the back here is, I guess, the wooden house, which you'll see a better lit up interior in the next map. Okay, and then up here we have a really old laptop. Shoe, slipper, little hamster cage. Little Nintendo DS or whatever. We got checkers. Then some posters and decals, stuff like that. Map of the world. Okay, and then we have some more furniture, so cupboards and stuff, couch, chair and desk. And then we have some of this uh, shelving units look really nice. Okay, and then over here we have some outdoor stuff, so some more drawers, and then we have a little lawn chair, swing, whatever. Outside bench, as well as some of these pots and pans for flowers and stuff like that. Okay, and this looks kind of like a far away shed mesh or something. Okay, and then over here, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. It looks like it looks like it's a burnt house or whatever. So yeah, there's that. And then we have this little treehouse tower, whatever you want to call it, observatorium. It's inside. Okay, and we can check it out in the other maps. So that's what it looks like decorated. It's pretty cool. Then we have the other map, which is that treehouse map. It really looks nice all decorated here. Okay, next up we have the Edith Finch first floor, which is jam-packed with all sorts of furniture for the house. Okay, so starting off here we have curtains, curtain rods, little violin, some lamps, calendar, some shelves, umbrellas, we have this nice little wooden table, and then some more furniture like a couch, various different door designs. Okay, then we have a chair and this doorway with a bunch of books. Moving on, we have this little saw with a painting design, dock radio, little box there. Okay, another wheelchair and a stool. We have a dining table here with a nice chandelier, some glass vases. We have a wooden chair there, some more furniture, a rug, a glass container, whatever. Then we have some assortment of windows. And over here we have just a bunch of different books. So if you want to make the Library of Congress, there you go. Then we have some more shelves, really different style shelves and they'll look really nice, honestly. So really, if you're looking for any sort of furniture, I mean, these have it all for really any game, you're gonna be using furniture and, okay, so we have the kitchen, we have this nice grill. Actually, it's more of a modern stove, I guess. It's not really a grill. Um, then over here we have, you know, some cans, microwave, uh, different utensils, plates, broken plates. Okay. Then we have the kitchen table, whatever. This little, uh, not really chandelier, but for holding cooking utensils or whatever. Then we have a modern fridge. Doesn't look like you can open the doors. Some more tables and then some shelves and stuff like that. Then we have the sink section. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And I can show you guys the map with all the assets. Okay, so in here, you can see there's just a lot of books. Okay, so here's the kitchen. You can see all the pots and pans. Really nice lighting. Okay, and you can see the place is just a mess. And over here is the living room. I like this uh, chimney, it looks nice. And then this TV, which I actually didn't show that off 
in the overview. Okay, and here's the front door, and then up the stairs, up this little balcony, and then the various room doors. And yeah, that's pretty much the map. Next up, we have the grounds pack. Okay, so I guess we're doing the overview here. So over here, we're starting out with this uh, dragon slide, whatever. Some rocks, wooden uh, fence. Okay, then we have a canoe, um, outdoor stuff like a pool, bike, lawnmower, all that good stuff. Then we have some uh, just sticks and stuff like that. A uh, gas tank, whatever. Okay, we have this old train track through a tunnel or whatever. In the back here, we have this house mesh. It's, it's alright, I guess. Tree house strung up with a bunch of random stuff on it, so. Old trees, and then in the background here, you probably notice this. Um, it's pretty much just the terrain for whatever reason they used a bunch of random meshes strung together and the actual example map will probably make a little bit more sense but so this is the actual example map so they have some more trees and stuff on it yeah and the actual example map includes this little truck which is actually not that bad of a model it's uh low poly and not the highest resolution detail but i mean it's not even really that low poly, honestly. Um, so yeah. But yeah, here's a map. You got a little lake here. And then you can see the house. I don't really like the lighting, honestly, or the grass material. But there's really nothing in the house. It's just a mesh. Okay, next up we have Gus. So we can go ahead and open this map up. So this is the overview over here. We have this... I guess it's supposed to be underwater house that's covered in barnacles. Okay, and then over here we have like this tent, which is actually pretty high detailed. Some wooden stairs, concrete. Okay, and then a little dock, um, shed, and a bunch of different rocks here. Some seaweed, starfish. One of these little outside lights, you know, that you have in your yard. Okay, we got a table. Chairs. In the back here, we have this little boat that's kind of animated. And then a really simple boat model. And we got a totem pole. And then this looks like a kite. Then over here, we just have an assortment of rock meshes, so... I don't know, let's go ahead and check out the demo map. Okay, so it's like a little wedding here. Bouquet of flowers on each table. Then you have different foods. And then in the wedding tent. But yeah, that's pretty much the demo map here. You can see there's actually this nice little boardwalk, which doesn't look half bad. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on. This next one is called Lewis. So uh, a lot of random stuff but probably makes sense if I actually knew what the game was about. Kind of like a prison bunk bed, I don't know. Mini fridge. A uh, bunch of random stuff. Then we have actually this nice little gaming PC. Keyboard and mouse and monitor. Not half bad, honestly. Okay, and over here we have little fish tank. And then this boat shack whatever you want to call it actually looks like the boat mesh is separate so inside okay and then this fish factory stuff so fish processing plant whatever you want to call it and then i guess these are supposed to be all conveyor belts this all makes sense when i show off the demo maps but <clears throat> yeah a bunch of different conveyor belts then i guess there's a guillotine for whatever reason Okay, and then all these little stylized assets. Kind of looks like a play. I don't know. Palm trees. 
So if you want some stylized palm trees, here you go. Okay, and in the back we have, I don't know, it's kind of Middle Eastern style buildings. Go ahead and check out the demo map. You can see all the, the meshes put together. We have this little boat here, the dock, then we have a market. Go up the palace steps, you go to the main entrance. And then there really isn't anything on the other side. And that's pretty much it. Okay, demo map. This is just the fish processing plant. So you start over here with the lockers. And then you can see all the various conveyor belts. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, next up we have the Molly Greg. So this one actually comes with this bus model, which at first glance is pretty nice. Uh, the only issue that I have with it is the fact that it doesn't have a door. And I guess they wanted to save geometry by not modeling the seats or whatever. I mean, other than that, it's it's a good background asset, I guess. But yeah, uh, this could be actually not. It doesn't look like that's part of the door, but... Yeah, so I guess it's supposed to be part of a ferry. So, ferry bench, rope, life jackets, all that stuff. Okay, then over here we have just random toys and stuff. Stylized furniture here. This little hamster cage. Oh, look at that. Nice little detailed miniature house here. It's kind of cool. And then you got a little present, some more furniture. Okay, and over here, toilet, sink, bathtub, ladder, and then these tree models, and half of this barn house, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this is the demo map. The room. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, the next one is called Sam. So you can see we have a bunch of little knickknacks, which is always nice. An army helmet, binoculars, a grill there, compass, little knickknacks. Okay, some socks, coat. A little hunting rifle here. Cooler. All these little metals. And then, you know, antlers and deer mount, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then you got a bed. This little desk here. And a flag. Okay, and then you have a bunch of different logs. And over here we have some outdoor stuff, like a tent, campfire, all that sort of stuff. So if I show you the demo map, you can see it's a room, kind of like a log cabin almost. But yeah, we got all the different assets in here, this old TV. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it on here. All right, last up we have the twins room. So this is actually the map. You can see here there's a bunch of toys everywhere. You have the bed with this little wooden fort, whatever you want to call it. Little toy robot. Yeah, a lot of miniature assets and all that stuff and very high detailed go to the overview and see all the different parts and pieces so here we have all the little toys and stuff looks like little notes chair okay you got a little pogo stick there's all the toys So rocket ship, we can scale this thing up. 
Then we have all these other stuff here. Some more toys, it looks like. Little army truck. Robot. Then we have some furniture. Some drawers and stuff. Windows, curtains. Bed. Then you have those four pieces, it looks like. It's pretty much just two separate meshes there. Uh, same with that. And then the floor, ceilings, and the walls. So that's pretty much all of the different assets here. Uh, all 10 of these different packs, you can get them free on the marketplace under permanently free. Or you can just search Edith and Finch and see all 10 of these packs. Uh, really high detailed meshes and not high topology, honestly. So, I mean, like I said, they're perfect for VR, mobile, really any sort of game, especially the furniture meshes I, I know for sure i'm gonna use some of this stuff and repurpose it for whatever i'm using but yeah uh lots of different stuff there anyways uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh, which ones are probably your favorites i'll probably also go over the city of brass uh, marketplace content that was made free like a month or two ago as well so stay tuned for that video but uh yeah that's pretty much it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next one